Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am becoming a bit more comfortable vlogging outside. I maybe I should be worried about that. I wanted to talk about something that is changing in Italy and theref therefore I have made that statement on the title of this video. You remember this house? This house we posted for 12,000 euros. We had heaps of interest on this house and at the moment the owner is having conversations with the interest party. Now, do you remember this house here? That one we posted for 75,000 euros. It's the palazzo in the middle of town with great potential. This one has been sold. Buongiorno. Okay. What I'm trying to get at with this. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. <laughs> Parlo col mio stessa. Bye bye <laughs> Normale. What I'm trying to get at is that things are changing in Italy and so should your strategy if your dream, your goal, your objective is to live here full time or as a holiday but mainly if your goal is to buy a home whatever the reasons are that you may have. Aiden has been looking at Italian property for around 30 years and I have been looking with him for nearly 20 and things are changing. Before we could Buongiorno. before we could just look at some properties and there will be on the market for years on end and I remember doing our research and knowing that people would offer this is a super nice street I love it that people will offer 20 30 and even 50 percent less of the asking price and maybe owners were forced to sell back then. Maybe there wasn't much happening in the way of, uh, of people going to certain towns and, and looking for properties. But now things are completely different. Remember these two houses? One of them was a 15,000 euro house and they, with a garden, which you can see back there. And the other one was a 5,000 euro house that needed to be that needed to be built inside with everything. It was just two big rooms and you needed to go in and make it your own. Those two are sold. They are next to this one, which we posted recently for 37,000. So as you can see, ciao, buongiorno. <laughs> As you can see, over are the days when people could just look at a property, feel, uh, fall in love with it and wait. And over are the days as well where people could offer very little for the properties and the owners will just accept it. That house back there that was, the price was 15,000 and the next one for 5,000, someone offered 18,000 for both of them, actually not that long ago. The, together, of course, they were going to be 20,000 and not someone offered 18. The owner will not budge because they know what they have, especially in this area. They know that people want to be next to the beach. Every summer, the towns around here are very, very busy. 
and for the prices that they are selling their homes, is they're well worth it. Especially when you consider that if you come for a holiday one month or two months in the summer, you're going to be spending thousands of dollars um, on accommodation. So just in the course of a few years, you would have paid your house off. So take this as sharing something great that is happening with these houses being sold and with more people being aware of these beautiful hilltop towns. And there are two cats fighting down the road. And take this as well as a note and as a nudge for you to make a decision to get on with your research and actually not spending that long. Don't, don't do it like we did. Don't spend 10, 20, 30 years to do your research, finding the perfect place. Because there's no perfect place. We are not perfect as humans, so of course places as are not perfect. I will give you this advice. Understand your budget, know what your budget is, know what your requirements are, decide whether you want to be close to the mountains or close to the beach or whether you want to be in between and then have a look at the map of Italy and understand what the region of Italy could give you those things. Just I give you a tip, the north is a lot more expensive than the south. In south. saying that, the prices on the south are picking up very quickly, especially in Calabria and Puglia and Abruzzo. That leaves Molise as a little hidden gem that perhaps you should be taking advantage of. So have your budget, understand your budget, have very clear what your requirements are and where you want to be in Italy. And based on that, shortlist a few properties, go to those towns and see those properties. You probably won't be able to get a very detailed picture of what a town is like if you only come once or even if you come twice because it will depend on the time of the year, it will depend on the weather, it will depend on what's happening in the town itself. So my advice to you is find something that fits most of your requirements, visit that place and make an offer and go for it. Because also life is short if the last three years have showed us anything. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Filmino. Per me, no, per me, mia stessa. Ah no, adesso è montagna, la, la collina. Sì. Um, and if anything, these last years have shown us is that life is too short and that if we have the means and the, the ways of going for our dreams and for what we want, we need to do it and we just need to make it work. Because again, as I said, there's no perfect place, there's no perfect region, there's no perfect town. Italy is not a perfect country and I'm sure where you live is not perfect either. So be realistic, be enthusiastic, have a nice balance between your logical mind and the gut that tells you what to do and go for it because these properties are not waiting around the way they did years and years before. Have a great afternoon or morning or night, wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for watching. We are overwhelmed by the comments, by the emails, and by the numbers of subscribers that we are um, reaching on this channel. We love it. We love doing what we do. We love giving you information and showing you what's around. And thank you. Thank you for watching. It's nearly midday. I'm going to see what we're going to have for lunch. Hopefully I didn't cook something delicious. And that's it. Make a decision and we'll see you here when you do. Ciao. Please consider watching this video, I'm sure you'll find it entertaining and informative. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Ciao!